Hi guys, so I'm going to get through this, not quickly, but kind of quickly. I have done three junk journals that I want to share with everybody. And one, or two of them is for my daughters. One is for, um, Miss Liz, which it's a mini one, but let me go ahead and show you guys the mini one first. And this is the front. I love to put flowers on the front and either stick them or wink a Stella, one of the two. Lace down the side, of course. And with this being a mini, it's only got one signature. It's got her name on it. Um, I love to use these sprays of things and little feathers. Or feathers, oh my god, leaves. And I always tie them shut with, um, sorry ribbon, that's just one of my things I do for my junk journals. Um, everybody does different stuff and that's one of my signatures. Oh yeah, I put little charm tank dangling down from here and this is a shabby chic so I took a like old vintage looking book thing and a flower. So let's get inside and I love this paper that I used. It's got a coffee stain there. I love that. And it's just like it kind of looks like old clippings from a book or something. It's really neat. And you open it up and I always put a library card there. That way they can keep track of stuff or whatever. It's very pretty. A little bow and a flower. I put a little girl dancing there. Very, very cute. It's got the lace coming down the side. And a coffee dyed paper, um, or a coffee dyed envelope, I'm sorry, with a butterfly. Very, very cute. Love it. A guest check. And this is really blank, so she can do whatever she wants to do with it. And then, because she's very, very crafty too. Here is like an, a little sticker that's a gemstone. It's very, very pretty. It's got a clip on top. Some ledger paper that's been dyed. Some pretty um, flower paper. Some music note paper that has some lace on the side. And I've done very colorful lace throughout this. And this is very old music note paper too. And this paper right here, it's like a dollar uh, I don't even know. It's it's really cool. It's got old money and math and stuff on it, so it's kind of really neat. But it's a very, very old book that's falling apart, and I like to use that. So here is this paper that I love, which I forgot to get some last time I went to Hobby Lobby, so I need to get some more of that. I love that paper. And then this is one of those message um, pads from the Dollar Tree. And here's some map paper, some music note paper with a tape measure going down the side, and friends forever. So we're really good friends. And here is a piece of notebook paper, that book, another book page, a file folder, some more of that paper with a charm dangling off the side. I love to take the Tim Holtz pens and do that. You'll see that in my kids' books, too. And there's the middle signature, middle of it. And it's got a receipt clipped on there with one of the Tim Holtz clips. So I love those. The rest of the file folder. A book page. Some more of that math paper. Notebook paper. And this is a clip that I made. I love to make these clips now. Shawcraft 1 has um, turned me on to making this and I love them. So I clipped one of those on there for it. It's made with the Prima paper, Tales of You and Me. I love it. And there's the rest of that paper, that matte paper. There's the rest of that message pad. Here is a little charm and it's got lace inside it. I love those charms. Kelly had told us about those and I love those charms. And here is some of that more paper, some music note paper, that paper, 
some ledger paper. I just put a pink clip up there. I love these clips. Guest check, the rest of that envelope, and ledger paper that is really shiny with some lace. And then I put a little envelope over here and put best friends. So that was it for the mini. I think it's very, very cute, and I kind of, like I said, left it really blank so she can do what she wants to do with it. It's always nice to get these books and personalize them yourself, you know? So I try to leave them kind of empty to where they can do what they want to do. Now, on the other hand, with my kids, is these are the big ones, and I did decorate these ones. So... I put a pin in there for the kids, a little gym pin. All right, so here is theirs. Miss Rayana's is a unicorn. And I just took the lace on the side, and this is a very, very chunky book, guys. It's got flowers on it. I love to use lots of flowers. And I put memories because this is going to be their memory book from the summer. The gems. And I got charms on the side here, and this is actually a locket charm, but I can't seem to find a picture little enough. I mean, I don't, I guess I could print it, but it's, yeah, I could print it. I might do that. A little charm there, a tassel, a unicorn tassel, and I put lots of charms hanging down off the strings. One says, love the journey, there's a little monkey, a unicorn, and another little unicorn. And this is a big one. So the charms are really cool. And then the back just has my signature on the back. I don't even... I haven't done sissies yet. I'm going to have to do that. And then I put the little corners on both of them. That way it would be a little bit more sturdier. I'm hoping they take good care of these. Okay. Now in the front I have put some clips. Because we're going to start doing pictures and putting pictures in here. And I thought it would be neat to... Maybe clip some in with the unicorn clips. And then they made these poop emoji little thingies. And I thought that'd be cool to put some things what they done this summer in there. So I used lots of unicorn dyed paper. So this is unicorn dyed paper. It's got stickers all over it. And this one has a tough little pocket down here. And it says this is for real. Is this for real? She can journal on there with a little doily, some cute Pinocchio paper. I thought this was a neat idea. Six fun things you did this summer. And then more unicorn paper. This is a little tuck spot and it's got a little unicorn in there. I thought it was cute. Some of that paper Dana had gifted me. Got a bicycle on it. And then this is unicorn dyed paper with a unicorn, and it's got a little charm hanging up here, and it's a Wonder Woman charm. My daughter loves Wonder Woman. I put a little mermaid in there, because I guess unicorns and mermaids kind of go together. Some little ephemera over here. A little wooden unicorn that she picked out at the store. We just put that on there, and it's on some textured paper the rest of that paper and it's got a little fairy she would picked that out and said she wanted it in here so she got it and then this is a pop-up guys for the people that have not seen this book I don't want to get it in a knot she already did that okay this is what this it pops out, guys. So I thought that was really neat to do for this. And it just, I'll show you one more time. It just pops out. Really, really cool. I will tie that in a minute. And then there's the rest of that file folder. The rest of the Pinocchio paper. I made paper clip for theirs, too. I thought that was cute. I made that one on a unicorn paper. Very, very cute. The rest of that unicorn paper with the Wonder Woman body corset. And then here, that's the, all of the first signature. Here's a second one. And this has got a little unicorn on it. Look at it. She picked that out. So I 
put it on there for her. I made her a tag. Little pocket. And that's a little ephemera from the paper pad I used. <clears throat> little puffy heart. And they had um, painted stained glass. And it was just funny that we had done a unicorn one. So I told her to pick one out and put in her book. And that's what she picked. And Dominique has one too, you'll see. I think it's in there. And then there's some more of that graph paper that's unicorn dyed. And then this is a pocket. I gotta make a tag and put in there. A little doily. Something that she can journal on. And this little bag, unicorn dyed bag, has a journaling spot in it. thought that was cool. A little piece of a file folder. Ah, she can journal on that big cat thing. I love this unicorn dyed paper. And it's got a little tough spot here. And it's got Wonder Woman's hat right there. So I thought that was cute. And then here is the rest of that bag, which I gotta put another journaling card in there or something. Thought I had one in there. And this just says believe. And then that's just something that we got at a bubble gum machine and she's like mommy will you put that in my junk journal so I did she's been finding little unicorn stuff here and there and this is I'm gonna cover that thank you up and I'm gonna write a note for them in here with a picture of all of us in there I thought that was a good idea this is just kind of a music paper with a little unicorn and it just folds out but she could do something with that there's a little heart and some lined paper that has been uh, sprayed. And then the back has a pocket. And of course we put the poop emoji. The unicorn and some stars and flowers. And then they have stickers in there that it say sister. So they can put those um, on whatever they need to, you know. <laughs> yeah, kids are stickers. So here is Miss Dominique's. Hers is gorgeous as well. And hers is Paris themed. Okay, you know how hard that was for me to get Brittany to come off with some Paris stuff. So, just imagine what I was in here. So, hers is pretty simple too. She's got a tassel, a gold one. Um, she's got some charms over here, just like Anna's. And she has a locket too. And this is a very, very pretty magnetic locket. And look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. And then down here as well, I have charms hanging down here. So, I love that. Simple. And here is the front. Hers has her name as well. She has a cluster of flowers and it says memory. A little butterfly that Donna Dreams had made. And I done the corners on hers as well so let's get into this beautiful thing and that is coming down i'm gonna have to fix that she ripped it already that little booger bag hold on a minute okay guys i had to fix it real quick she had it kind of ripped a little bit Okay, so you open it, and it's got, look at this beautiful little cat. Like, she's going on a trip. I just love her glasses and stuff. And she's got the clips in hers as well. And a couple little ephemera pieces in here that are postcards that she could journal on. And then she's got the little envelope that is Paris clipped on there with one of those Tim Holtz. She's got that little table. It's so cute. It came out of a Paris pack of stickers. Very, very cute. And then here we have a little... I used a 7 Gypsy Paris paper. And I made a little journaling spot for her. A little Paris building. Paris Eiffel Tower. The Cafe Paris with the bonjour clipped on there with the clip that is Paris. Paris sticker and there's her high heel stained glass and she's got a journaling spot in there as well we're gonna find somewhere to put that shoe though 
And I love this little doggie. Look how cute it is. It says, I love Paris. And she can journal on there. And then look at that metal Paris thing. So stinking cute. On some ledger paper. A little doily. Mickey O paper. And this, I think it's just cool how this is like a book. So I put it to where she could journal behind it or something. I love that image though. Beautiful. There's that paper. Here's a little Paris envelope. And I put it Velcro so she could put stuff in it. And then Paris. It's got cute little stuff all over it, guys. Journaling spots. That is a journaling thing from the paper pad. And it's clipped on there. Some of that paper. And there's one of those clips. And they got to pick out the clips that I, that I made. So they picked out which one they wanted. The little Eiffel Tower. And the Eiffel Tower hanging down over here. I love that. And then she has one of these in hers as well. And it just pops out the bicycles. So she has one as well. And she... It's on some tea-dyed paper with a frame on the back to where she can put a picture under it and glue it down. That's the first signature. The first signature is really, really chunky. I just realized that. So the second one, we have a little library slot and it's got the Ooh La La Paris tag. And it's got a little charm on there with a doily flower. And then it's got some of that pretty, pretty paper. Some of that pretty paper. Here we got a little um, postcard. Sorry. With the, look at the bike with the dog in there with the bread. So cute. And then we got this little ephemera. Journaling card. Paris and the little Paris bread in there. So cute. It's like a little bag. That's adorable the lace on the side and six fun things you did this summer and look she's already got road in there number one was see mommy I love that I didn't know she had road in it yet and then here is the unicorn dyed paper and she's got or we got a tag in there she can journal on the front of there and then another one of those little cats I love them cats and look the little cafe here I took a piece of from uh, the Paris infirmary stuff and put travel and another Eiffel Tower tag in there. So cute. And then here's another Eiffel Tower clipped on there. And the Paris right there. Eiffel Tower. Stamps from the Paris stuff. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. We took a card. And I'm going to write in it and put a picture in there. And it's on some graph paper. And then the same with the back. It's got a pocket and a little poop emoji. And she has sister stickers too. So this was three more junk journals that I have worked on, guys. So... I wanted to share them with you guys because I know y'all like the junk journals right now. And yeah, so I'm sorry this video is super long. I showed quite a few junk journals in it. There's three more that I showed. I am working on a couple more though, so I will be sharing them when I get done with them. Um the string drives me crazy. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, I will share the next ones when I get them done. I will share them as we go making them. Or as I go making them. I don't know why I act like a mouse in my pocket. Mouse in my pocket. Anyways, so you guys take care. And I wanted to share this with you. And when the kids get done journaling in these, I would like to share it with you guys before they go back home they leave next weekend we're gonna start printing pictures off we're having their birthday party tomorrow so yeah 
Um, well, you'll probably be going to be seeing this tomorrow, so we'll be having our birthday party this day. So it'll be kind of a little crazy chaotic. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until my next video, bye-bye.